We got books. 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 Hey guys, it is Joy here, and I'm so excited about today's video because I'm starting a book club. Call me Oprah, but we are starting a book club on my channel, and it all started when I set my New Year's goals and I said I wanted to read a book a month, and I asked you guys if you wanted to read them with me, and you guys said yes. So here is how it is going to work out. I am reading a book per month, and I started in December 2017. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to review the book that I read, and I'm gonna post my book club video at the beginning of the month. So you can go ahead and read through the book, and at the end of the month, you can come back to this video or my blog post, which will be linked below, and you can leave your feedback on the book, what you thought, and that way, if people come back and they're not keeping up with the book club or they find this a year down the road, they can see what I said about the book and what you guys said about the book, and it's going to be super fun, so get ready. So we're gonna have these videos, and I'm also going to make blog posts over at joyway.com with the links to to all the books that we're doing, etc., my feedback, and things like that. So it's lit, it's lit, it's lit. If you have any books that you want me to read for the book club, leave them down below because I already have a ton of books that I need to get through and I may end up doing more than one a month, but realistically we're just going to do one a month and we'll have 12 book club episodes at the end of 2018. So I hope you guys are excited and you guys have your Kindles, Amazon accounts. I don't know, I like getting the physical copies of the books and if you don't like doing that, if you want audiobook, if you want something else, do your thing. So without a further ado, let's introduce the first book that we'll be reading. And it is called The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. So the reason that I chose this book to start off the book club is because it's a new year and you have goals that you want to set. This book is going to help you get clarity with the direction of your life. It's going to show you the not so obvious secret guaranteed to transform your life before 8 a.m. So I am not a morning person and I think that's all I need to say. I'm a college student, I am not a morning person. I get up 30 minutes before I have to go to class and I'm flustered, I miss assignments, I'm late, uh, I wish I had time to do homework in the morning, et cetera, et cetera. We all have things that we wish we could do before we go out into the world. So this book is amazing. Like I said, I already read it. And I'm just going to share with you the chapters and some of the really good nuggets that I found out of the book. I circled and underlined a lot in this book and bookmarked pages. I'm definitely going to go back and reread this book. And I would say it falls in the category of like self-help or like self-improvement books. And what you'll see for the book club is I'm going to be reading a lot of these types of books, entrepreneurship books and some like wolf books. I just have some books that I may include in the book club here some narratives we're gonna do a mix I promise I promise I promise I promise so if you have any types of suggestions leave them below but I have a ton of books that I already know that we're going to do to understand the miracle morning you have to understand who the author is so his name is Hal and he basically got in a huge car accident when he was a teenager in like 1920 and it left him unable to do anything, he had tons of broken bones. He actually died for six minutes and then they revived him and he had to recover. And after that, he also went through some financial struggles and he realized he needed to get his life back together and get out of depression. And so he designed this thing called the Miracle Morning, which you can do anywhere from six to 60 minutes during your mornings, depending on how much time you have. So it works for anyone, it works for students, it works for entrepreneurs, it works for moms, it works for business people. Anyone can do the Miracle Morning because it's customized to you. So not only is this book a fun thing to read, it's also something that you can implement into your life instantly this January so you can get a head start to your new year and you can form a great habit that you will carry for the rest of your life. 
So I'm gonna tell you what his miracle morning is so you guys can understand what the heck I'm talking about. And then I'm gonna tell you the benefits of the miracle morning slash why you should read this book and and like implement it into your life. So he calls the miracle morning um, life savers and he has, it's an acronym. So he has a thing you do for each letter, S-A-V-E-R-S. So the first thing he has is S is for silence. So silence, he means you can sit and meditate, you can pray, you can just go outside and walk and listen to nature. Anything that will just help you clear your mind and start your morning without tons of social media, tons of outside, uh, outside like things messing you up, just getting, giving your brain a chance to rest from all of the stimuli that surrounds you. So that's basically a summer of that. So he says you can do meditation, prayer, reflection, deep breathing, or gratitude. Like take time to think about what you're thankful for. A, he has A is for affirmations. And affirmations, he says, are one of the most effective tools for quickly becoming the person you need to be to achieve everything you want in your life. And your self-talk basically has a dramatic influence on your confidence, your health, your happiness, your wealth, your relationships, etc. And he says that a statistic said that 80% of women have self-depreciating thoughts about themselves, whether it's their body image, job performance, or other people's opinion about them. So, especially as women, we need to implement affirmations into our life. Whether or not you're getting this book, just take these small tidbits that I'm saying and see how you can implement them into your life. The book is just going to give you more in-depth guidance on how you can personalize these to your own lifestyle and more ways that he uses these on a day-to-day. V, he has V is for vis visualization. So you remember in like a middle school and when you used to make those mood boards or like your inspiration boards where you cut out things from magazines and paste them down? He's basically saying that there's different ways you can visualize. Making a mood board is great, but if you're not going back every day and looking at it and imagining yourself doing it and believing that you're doing it, it's there's no point in doing it. So he uses visualization as one of his reasons. And he says that famous people use this all the time, like Oprah, Jim Carrey. He used an example of Jim Carrey. He says that Jim Carrey wrote himself a check in 1987 for $10 million. And then he dated it for Thanksgiving 1995. And then in the memo line, he said for acting services rendered. He visualized it for years. And then in 1994, he was paid that 10 million from Dumb and Dumber, his lead role that he played. So this is just showing that visualizing what you want can attract things into your life. And that is visualization. And the next one he has is E, which is exercise. And he just talks about how you need to exercise, you need to get your blood pumping in the morning. You don't have to do a full blown out like hour exercise. You can do anything as simple as 100 jumping jacks or some crunches or anything just to get your blood pumping. Next we have R, he says R is for reading. And this is where I'm going to implement my reading of my 12 books um, this year. So what he says for reading, especially if you're into like entrepreneurship and business like I am, he's saying don't reinvent the wheel. The fastest way to achieve everything you want is to model successful people who have already achieved it. So getting a book like this, he has he has a list of things that he's been successful at. He's a radio show host, he has a marketing, he worked for a marketing company, he is a speaker, he goes around, he has a successful book in movement. So he says the easiest way is just to mimic what other successful people do. So he has a list of suggested books to read by successful people and I'm definitely gonna try to add some of these to my reading list. There's so many books. I already have more than 12 on my shelf that I bought um, last spring at the LA Book Festival, but there's so much. He says that if you read 10 pages a day, that basically equates to 18, 200 page personal development slash self-improvement books. So obviously you don't have to read those types of books if that's not what you're interested in, but 2018, I'm really trying to delve into a lot of these books and get that together. And the last thing he says that he uses in his Miracle Morning is scribing. So scribing, he just means journaling, writing things down. 
and he just says that every day he would journal and then at the end of the year he could look back at everything and he also gives some really cool tips on ways you can journal and that are different than just like telling what you did that day so I really liked that part and he also says if you wanted to write a book go ahead and write your book and then he kind of gives like an outline of how much time to spend on the miracle morning so he gives an example for like a 60 minute plan but if you cannot do that for an hour every morning he also has a chapter called the seven minute miracle morning where you can do the miracle morning in seven minutes lastly in the book he talks about habits and why forming successful habits are important and he tells you how to master habits so that is an overview of the book and what the miracle morning is i highly suggest you get this book whether you are a college student like i said this book is basically for everyone if you have goals if you haven't been able to be focused get clarity on your life this is going to implement a lot of things that people have on their new year's resolutions list whether it is reading more writing more learning to meditate exercising more getting closer in their religion whatever you can do all of this in your miracle morning it's knocking a ton of birds with one stone so i am excited to continue to reread this and implement my miracle mornings so if you're interested in getting this book i will have all the links down below to purchase like amazon kindle ibooks etc just for a convenience just for convenience he also has miracle morning books targeted to specific people he has miracle morning he has a journal he has miracle morning for salespeople, real estate agents network marketers writers entrepreneurs parents and families college students so i'll try to link as many as i can down below and it's also translated in a ton of different languages he has french dutch spanish italian japanese blah 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 blah, blah. so if you don't speak english somehow you're watching this video but you can get it in your language so that is my overview on The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. If you are going to read it and participate in the book club, let me know below and then at the end of the month or whenever you finish this book, come back to this video or to the blog post and make sure you leave your feedback for future readers who might want to check out The Miracle Morning. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!